This video recording is on how to make a tab room account. Uh, if you're a first time judge and you've not used online balloting before, it's pretty, it's pretty easy and very user friendly. Of course, the first step that you're going to do is you're going to want to create a, an online account through tabroom.com. Tabroom is the online software that we use to tabulate and to submit results and to run the entire debate, uh, the entire debate tournament. So the first step you want to go to is just tabroom.com. That's www.tabroom.com. It will bring you to this page, and at the very top, just to the left of the search bar, you see a button that says sign up. You click sign up, and it gives you an option to just create a simple account. It's just a few questions, so you'll want to enter the best email address that you use. Fill in your first name, your last name. Now, you'll notice it doesn't require a phone number, but if you have a cell phone number, I highly recommend that you put that in and include it. And the reason why I do that is because you can receive text updates. And that's kind of a cool feature. As we're in the tournament, if you get a judge assignment, it will come to your phone via text message. And it will say, you have round one public forum debate, room 123, and it starts at 330. You don't need to rush to look at a pairing or ask anybody. It will come straight to your phone. So I highly recommend that you do that as well. Uh, it will ask for your provider and which state that you are in, country, and time zone. Uh, the time zone you're going to want to put in is Denver is the closest one to us. And then create a simple password. Once you create your login, it will bring you to the next screen. That gives you a few options. Um, you, this second option is going to apply to you as a judge. You're going to want to link yourself to your school. So as you do that, you'll just click link your account and you're going to want to find your coach. Now this is a good step to do and try to link in the event that for some reason this doesn't work. You still have a Tabroom account, as you'll notice in the upper right upper right hand corner. I've got rightalchbeatgmail.com. That's my address. You have an account and you're good to go. If you can't seem to link it with your school, it's not the end of the world. We can link you uh, later on at the tournament or your coach can link you when they sign you up to judge. But if you are um, certain you know your coach's name and it's going to work out, you'll just search them. And it would normally bring up your judge, or excuse me, your coach. Now, in my case, I am the coach, and it's going to have a hard time finding me. Um, but for some reason, again, if this doesn't work, you're going to be able to still use your account and still judge. This is an important step, but not 100% necessary if it's not working out well for you. So that is how you sign up for a tab room account. I'll make another video on what to do when you get an online ballot and how to uh, actually fill out the ballot to clarify any of those questions. But step one to online balloting, having a tab room account. Now we'll also offer this as just a suggestion. If you have a, um, a student that, you know, one of your own children or a student, another competitor you wanna follow, you can link that person to you so you can get their results and how they're doing. You can get updates for how they're doing throughout the tournament and you can um, create, uh, you, can, you can link yourself to your school as well as to specific students and to, to teams in general. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let us know and we'll be happy to walk you through it.